In today's busy world, where time is a precious commodity, mastering the art of time management is essential for success in both personal and professional endeavors. Learning how to organize your time can lead to increased productivity, reduced stress, and a better work-life balance. In this video, we will explore practical tips and strategies to help you make the most of your time. Now let's look at a few tips for how to organize your time. If you are new to the channel, welcome. I blog and make videos about cleaning, decluttering, and organizing. You can find my free printables to help you get organized in the drop-down menu under the printables category over at dmiddleton.com. Today, I'll cover how to organize your time. Stay tuned to the very end of the video for more free organizing help. Now let's look at a few tips for how to organize your time. Set clear goals. The first step in effective time management is defining your goals. Whether they are short-term or long-term, having clear objectives provides direction and purpose. Break down larger goals into smaller, manageable tasks to make them more achievable. This clarity will guide your daily activities and help you prioritize tasks effectively. Prioritize tasks. Not all tasks are created equal. The Eisenhower Box is a useful tool that categorizes tasks into four quadrants based on their urgency and importance. Prioritize tasks as follows. Urgent and important, do these tasks immediately. Important but not urgent, schedule these tasks for later. Urgent but not important, delegate these tasks. Neither urgent nor important, consider eliminating or postponing these tasks. Create a schedule. Developing a daily or weekly schedule is a cornerstone of effective time management. Allocate specific time blocks for different activities, including work tasks, personal commitments, and breaks. I know you cannot control work times or school times, but you can manage your personal time according to your body's natural rhythm. By that, I mean listening to your body and working when you feel the most energetic and productive. Pay attention to whether you are a morning person or a late-night hero. Maybe you work best in the afternoon hours. Schedule your most important tasks accordingly. Be realistic about the time required for each task and leave some flexibility for unexpected events or delays. Use tools like calendars or productivity apps to help you stay organized. Learn to say no. While it's essential to be open to new opportunities, it's equally important to recognize your limits. Learning to say no to tasks or commitments that don't align with your goals or may overwhelm your schedule is crucial for maintaining focus and avoiding burnout. Minimize distractions. Identify and minimize potential distractions to enhance your concentration during work or study sessions. Turn off unnecessary notifications. Create a dedicated workspace and establish clear boundaries with friends and family to ensure uninterrupted focus on your tasks. Break tasks into manageable chunks. Large tasks can be overwhelming, leading to procrastination. Break them into smaller, more manageable chunks. Completing these smaller components not only makes the task seem less daunting, but also provides a sense of accomplishment along the way. Embrace time blocking techniques. Time blocking involves dedicating specific time periods to specific tasks. This technique enhances focus and efficiency by preventing multitasking and promoting deep work. Experiment with different time blocking methods to find the one that works best for your workflow. Regularly review and adjust. Periodically review your time management strategies to assess their effectiveness. Are you achieving your goals? Are there areas where you can improve? Be open to adjusting your approach as needed to optimize your time and productivity continuously. Organizing your time effectively is a skill that can significantly impact your overall well-being and success. By setting clear goals, prioritizing tasks, creating a schedule, learning to say no, minimizing distractions, breaking tasks into manageable chunks, embracing time blocking techniques, and regularly reviewing and adjusting your strategies, you'll be well on your way to mastering the art of time management. Remember, it's not about having more time, it's about making the most of the time you have. What are some things that steal our time? Time is a finite resource, and various factors can unknowingly steal precious moments from our lives. Recognizing these time thieves is the first step towards effective time management. Here are some common culprits. Procrastination. Procrastination is the act of delaying tasks unnecessarily. It often stems from a lack of motivation, fear of failure, or a feeling of being overwhelmed. Overcoming procrastination requires self-discipline and breaking tasks into smaller, more manageable parts. Excessive screen time. With the proliferation of smartphones, tablets, and computers, excessive screen time can consume a significant portion of our day. 
Social media, endless scrolling and binge watching can be major time thieves. Setting limits on screen time and being mindful of online activities can help reclaim lost hours. Unplanned meetings, meetings while essential for collaboration, can sometimes become unproductive and time consuming. Poorly planned or unnecessary meetings can steal time from other important tasks. To combat this, ensure that meetings have a clear agenda, start and end on time, and involve only those necessary. Multitasking. Contrary to popular belief, multitasking often leads to decreased efficiency and increased errors. Trying to juggle multiple tasks simultaneously can steal time and hinder overall productivity. Focusing on one task at a time and practicing mindfulness can enhance concentration. Lack of prioritization. Without clear priorities, individuals may find themselves working on tasks that do not align with their goals or contribute to their overall success. It's essential to identify high priority tasks and allocate time accordingly to avoid spending too much time on less important activities. Perfectionism. Striving for perfection in every task can be a time-consuming habit. While high standards are admirable, perfectionism can lead to excessive time spent on minor details. Learn to balance quality with efficiency and recognize when good enough is sufficient. Overcommitting. Saying yes to every request or commitment can result in overcommitment and time exhaustion. Learning to set boundaries, prioritize tasks, and gracefully decline non-essential commitments is crucial for effective time management. Poor planning. Lack of planning can lead to chaos and wasted time. Without a clear roadmap for the day or week, individuals may find themselves reacting to situations rather than proactively managing their time. Invest time in planning and organizing to avoid unnecessary stress. Lack of delegation. Trying to handle everything on your own can be a significant time thief. Delegating tasks to others when possible can free up time for more critical responsibilities and promote a more efficient workflow. Distractions. External distractions such as noise, interruptions, or a disorganized workspace can steal focus and hinder productivity. Creating a conducive work environment and setting boundaries can help minimize distractions and optimize your time. By identifying and addressing these time thieves, individuals can take proactive steps toward reclaiming control over their schedules and achieving a better balance between productivity and personal well-being. Not only does your time need to be organized, you will benefit from having your entire home clean and organized too. If you need to do more deep cleaning, I have checklists and guides to help you with that over at dmiddleton.com or at the link below. I have a housekeeping ebook entitled Make Over Your Homemaking. If housekeeping is an area that you struggle with, this ebook will guide you in creating your own housekeeping schedule. I try to cover everything from balancing your bank balance to cleaning your kitchen. I will link that information for you in this video description. If you are looking to get more organized, I can help with that too. I blog and make videos about cleaning, decluttering, and organizing. If you find it a struggle to get organized, there is likely a good reason why. As a matter of fact, I explore 11 reasons you fail to get organized over on my blog, dmiddleton.com. If one of these 11 reasons sound familiar to you, I will give you some tips to overcome that obstacle and finally get organized. I will link this information below. You can find my free printables to help you get organized in the drop-down menu under the printables category over on my blog, dmiddleton.com. If you are drowning in clutter, let me help inspire you. Clutter doesn't have to ruin your space. We are going to banish it. I do a year-long thorough declutter series on the blog. In this series, we declutter 30 minutes a day, five days a week. If that is something you need to do, join me at the link in this video description. You will receive a daily task and a weekly email. By the time you complete this series, you will have decluttered every room and space in your home. I have declutter lists for each room over at dmiddleton.com. I want to inspire you to create a home for everything and make your housework more manageable and less time-consuming. Once the clutter is gone, you will spend far less time cleaning it. So don't keep things around that take up your valuable space and time. Declutter it. Check out the links below to get started. Thanks for watching.